Hello, members and friends of Indian Run United Methodist Church. It's Tuesday, March 17th, so happy St. Patrick's Day. Wanted to give you an update on the latest of what's going on here at Indian Run. Uh, given the ongoing nature of the coronavirus pandemic, we have made the decision to close Indian Run's office and building until further notice. During this closure, we will still continue to have Sunday morning worship services that will be live streamed, so pay attention for that. We wanted to let you know that our staff is continuing to work hard on online opportunities for continued connection and spiritual growth. So uh, let you know a little bit about what's happening in that realm. Amy Catanella, our Director of Children's Ministries, has already begun publishing Sunday school curricula and other good information for families and children on Indian Run's Children's Ministry Facebook page. Now, if you're not connected to that page, it is a separate page from our uh, main Indian Run Facebook page. Just search for Indian Run Children under Facebook and you should be able to connect to it. Nick Maston, our youth pastor, is working on uh, video chat opportunities to continue uh, youth ministries. Andrea Laux, our director of Dis adult discipleship, is organizing uh, and, and investigating into some online small group opportunities and curriculum and things like that that have been av made available to us uh, during this time. Phyllis Fetzer, our pastor of congregational care, is organizing efforts to reach out to all of our seniors to, to make to maintain those connections and make sure everything is, is okay with, uh, with all of our seniors, especially um, those who are in uh, particular need during this time. Our worship teams are continuing to develop meaningful Sunday morning uh, live stream worship opportunities and we'll be sure to post links to those uh, worship services on our website and on our social media feeds. And the entire staff will be staying connected via email. Staff email addresses can be found at indianrun.org slash contact us. It's under the uh, about menu on our website or you can simply email the general church office mailbox at uh, office at indianrun.org. We will be checking our, uh, our emails throughout the day um, as we continue through this, uh, this journey. We want you to stay tuned to hear more information about all of these different efforts and, and feel free to contact the appropriate staff member if you would like to help in any way, if you have an idea for them or, or ways that we can connect. Now, please remember that we also have set up a help at indianrun.org email account that is intended to help us continue to be the church for those who are finding themselves in a time of need. If you are in a time of need, if you have any kind of need for support, just send us an email at help.indianrun.org and we will do our best to help in whatever way we can. You can also use this help at indianrun.org email address to let us know of needs that you're aware of in the community, whether it be a neighbor or a loved one. And if God gives you an idea of how we can be the church for someone else during this time, please let us know. You can continue to use that help at indianrun.org email address, and we'll see what we can do to help you put that idea into action. We also have a pastoral emergency voicemail box that we'll be using when uh, the office is closed. So you can use that voicemail box to notify us of any emergency needs. Uh, just call the church office, 614-889-7728. And when you hear the initial voicemail greeting, press six. That will direct you to a, uh, the pastoral emergency voicemail box and you can leave a message and we will be notified and return your call just as soon as we can. We want you to be sure to, to keep us updated with any prayer requests or praises that you'd like us to, uh, to share with the congregation. You can send those requests to the office mailbox, the uh, office email, office at indianrun.org, or if it's confidential in nature, you can just send it to Phyllis or myself and we'll treat it in, in that manner. As we continue to support the needs of our community by staying separate, always remember that we are intimately connected in the heart of God and as the body of Christ. We are in this together and we will get through this together. God is good. God is faithful. God's love is abundantly given to each and every one of us every moment of every day. 
And especially on this St. Patrick's Day, I'm reminded of our Irish blessing that we sing together each week. It talks about that opportunity that we have to be together again until we meet again. And so my friends, until we meet again face to face where we can connect in ways that we're used to being able to connect, until we meet again in that way, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. God bless you and we look forward to seeing you in the future.